Just ordinary people, extra ordinary people. Have a conversation with Gina. Yeah, yeah. Have a conversation with Gina. Experience me. Experience me. <laughs> Experience me. Extraordinary, ordinary people. Yo, I am so excited. I mean, to the point that I'm moist. But you know, I'm always moist. But I probably need a towel by the end of the interview. Not only because it's hot as a motherfucker in here, but because this nigga that I'm sitting with, as a matter of fact, there are three penises in the room and one vagina. There is Samson, my light-skinned brother from another mother, and there's King Indeed, who is walking tall. You, you, you know, big dick energy in the room. And of course, D-L-A-I. It's D-L-A-I. D-L-A-I. It's D-L-A-I. I'm honored. I'm honored to be able to talk to this gentleman. This is part one of a three-part series <laughs> with D-Lay. <laughs> I said it. I said it because there's so much to him. There's a comedian. There's the man. There's the sex symbol. There's the author. Yo, there's the actor. And then there's a man who can sit with you and turn up and... Yo, and be respectful, not try to touch your pussy when, yo, he's the bomb, he's the bomb. Cause let me tell you something. I have been around some a lot of celebrities and there are some men, I, I, you know, I don't know any of them, but there are some men they say, who when you get in a certain position, you know, when it says you and them and it's nice music and it's uh, uh, some weed and it's some nice liquor and it's a nice bed where it looks like a lion's den. <laughs> Pussy's easy. It is. It's easy. Because you can pussy throwing at you all the time, right? Oh, not all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce uh, D-Lay. <sighs> Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to get some things out the way first. Of okay. Let's get it out of there. How old are you? Um, 44. I'm turning which, 45, September 17th. And you, so that means you're Virgo. Mm -hmm. Are you in a relationship? Let's get it out the way right now. I am happily married. <laughs> he's, he's happily married. And I love his woman. That's my girl. She allows me to come over his house. She don't care if I'm nude. Right? But she allows me because yeah, she, she trusts she him. She ain't tripping on no women. She ain't tripping on that. Oh, no, no. She's the bomb. Because she's fine as fuck anyway. I'm just saying that because, listen, when he gets a millionaire, he's going to remember this conversation. So, young lady, remember that I like your husband. Okay. Now, D-Lay, mm -hmm. I know you're a comedian. So, this is part one. Okay? We can get to your acting skills and all that. But... At hi in high school, where were you? What were you doing in high school? Mm. I'm glad you asked. I was shy. I was shy, and I played basketball. I uh, wasn't dealing with a lot of women. Uh, around my junior year, I got one girlfriend, and she turned me out. Uh, gave me my first sexual experience, like, consistently. Uh, but... I had to develop into this, like, and she broke my heart. So that's what kind of make me open up after she broke my heart. That's what'll break a man's heart. You get your heart broke, you'll stop caring so much, and you'll start being a little bit more free, you know, with how you let people handle you. So, so what school were you going to? And what city were you living in? In Alexandria, Louisiana, a place called a school called Tioga High School. Are you a country boy, Southern boy? Mm -hmm. How many people in the family? A thousand <laughs> and five hundred in one apartment. <laughs> so during high school, who was in the house? Mommy, daddy, who was there? That shit changed. It was like a motherfucking halfway house. People coming in, people going out. Because our family was big and a lot of people on drugs and doing different shit. But my grandmother was like open, let anybody yeah. come and stay. So yeah. it was one of those yeah. 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 environments. So what, what kind of stuff were you into in high school? And what did you decide you wanted to be? Uh... I thought I was gonna play basketball. But you, but wait, but you're little. You're, you're not that big. You're, know. you're a point guard or something. Shooting Monty guard. Bogues is four foot one. Nigga, nigga, I'm talking and about you. Right, you're little but as what, fuck. So what I'm telling you is we can't use height because here there was an example. I'm asking Muggie. you what position did you play? And I oh, know I it played, had to be uh, point combo guard. guard. One and two. Really? I could shoot. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. You got some clips up on me online, wearing people really? ass out. Samson would come by the house when we go to King Key Run's house, and I bust their ass. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So you move like a young man. I listen. Your body is very agile. 
I'm just saying, I just watch your physical comedy on stage. I watch how you move. I watch you do pelvic gyrations. You're very sexual in a sanctified way. I use my own. Okay. Um, <laughs> Boom. I felt I'm going to get back to the same thing. Did you feel that? Yeah, did you but feel what that? what I do is I use my whole body on stage. I use the whole stage. I know, because I watch, you know what? I see your penis regularly. Mm. Do you wear underwear on stage? It depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I, I listen. I know it. I, listen, listen, listen. I was saying one time he had on some pants. I said he ain't got no underwear. Mm -hmm. And I saw your. I, I, listen, his girlfriend. You're talking about Houston. I know I didn't have no drawers in Houston. Listen, I remember his, his girlfriend. Hot. I'm not trying I know for to. For sure, I didn't his... have no drawers in Houston. It was too hot for drawers. I had no drawers on. I, I had didn't wear. I didn't even bring drawers to Houston. <laughs> so I know I didn't have on drawers. I know that was one of the cities for sure. <laughs> Well, what are you wearing drawers for? <laughs> what are you wearing drawers for? No, it's no, like, no, that's no, a waste no. of material. <laughs> that's all uh, another layer of heat around your area. I don't, I don't know. Well, you know, I agree because I don't own a pair of underwear. I don't own a bra. I never have. Never have owned Oh, underwear. I own it. I own it. I, I don't I own, own it. But I, I just, I, you know, I prefer to, you know, sometimes I just want my balls to be free. So speaking of balls to be free, this girl that broke your heart. Mm. How did you deal with the broken heart at 16, 17? I started fucking. <laughs> that's, How do you mend? That's kind of what happened. A broken heart. Yeah, I started By fucking. doing what? I started fucking. <laughs> and it was fun. You know, I got a nice little tutorial from her for like a year and a half. So I was like, okay, this is fun. Let me do this. And I just started just being free and just having fun, just living life and not taking females seriously in relationships. I was just like, this is have a friendship. I don't want to call that girl. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. So, as you matriculated, mm. what was your desire to be when you got out of high school? What did you want to be? Uh, again, I still thought that, I thought I could make it to at least overseas. I oh, thought also basketball, basketball was yeah. really a dream for you. Yeah, I, then I went to college and I was like, okay, yeah, you know, I think I can do it. And then I got a chance to, uh, my coach knew I was cocky. He knew I was cocky. So he said, you know, I'm going to let you work out with this this CBA team in, in Shreveport called the Shreveport Storm. And really? he let me work out with the with the guards. And all their guards are like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, I'm 5'11". And these guards were faster than me. They were just, they just, it just made me realize right then, I was like, I can't go to the NBA. I cannot go. I can't go. I, my, my body isn't built. My, I'm not quick enough. It's a whole nother level. It's a whole nother level. And I was like, okay, I got to figure out what I'm going to do. I so was, were you disappointed? Did you have a dream deferred? Yeah, I was like, because I knew. I was like, okay, it can't happen. So two broken hearts, the first girlfriend. That's and, right. And the basketball dream. That's right. So you took all that pain, and what did you do? Do what? And kind here, of work now here comes do? comedy. Now here comes so comedy. You, so you've never had a, re a real job, a regular no, job? Well, yeah. Well, we, comedy comes in right here. Well, okay. Because I started uh, dealing blackjack. I went to blackjack school, and I learned how to do blackjack. And then after that, bam, I'm in the casino. And I'm just... Being the natural, funny guy you, that I am, you, being me, and, you know, a guy walks up and he was like, hey, man, uh, you should do comedy. And I was like, oh, whatever. No, no, thank you. And, you don't uh, want to smoke behind me? No, I, I don't want to smoke that. I want to. I want to this, this wood. Is, this is, I know exactly what that I, is. You like wood? I like wood, too. I like Go ahead. backwoods. I like backwoods, too. Right, just cigar. <laughs> I like the back and the woods. I like the whole thing about the woods Can and I the back. Can I tell you what I feel? You don't get that much dick. <laughs> Listen, I can I, feel okay, it. Okay, listen, okay, listen. You don't get that much. I dick. surrender all. Yes. I surrender. Listen, Boy, I, have, I haven't had dick in since November 2019. I feel your energy. However, however. You're however, leaking. You're leaking right You're right. Now. You're right. You are leaking. I'll be, now, I, I masturbate. I masturbate regularly, but I do need some dick. You're right. I, I can feel it. Listen, I've been trying to, a lot of dudes don't know this. My pussy's been talking loud, right? It is. You're right, it's son. yawning from the time. No, it's not yawning, it's screaming. It's like, <laughs> Please come fuck this bitch. Please. That's why you can identify some need for some dick pussy. I'm so glad you know that. I know that listen, I'm gonna tell you what I believe. In that's my the reason heart. why I'm on social media. I'm trying to find a man. Let's just keep it a wrap. I've and this, let me tell you what I'm prophesying right now. Go ahead. In the name of right God. Right now on your show. Yes, hallelujah. You not this year. But you got to gather yourself. Get yourself together this year. But in 2023, you're going to be the nigga named Lester. Lester? Is, yes, Richard. Lester the Molester? No, nigga, what no, kind no, of no, name no, is no, that? No, no, you already judging him on his, on his name. Fuck that nigga. So the name is always named Raheem or Abdul. <laughs> so he got to be a nigga from New York with a bomber jacket on and some hoodie and some Timberlands on. No, he got to be 50 above, and he has to have some a medical issue. Either high blood I pressure or diabetes. I gave you the perfect name for a 50-year-old nigga, Lester. <laughs> well, that is a nice Lester name. Lester is an old nigga name. Lester. It now really is. Let me, let me, let me. So we can Go say ahead. it happened here.
He's a retired electrician. Retired, he's, 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 you know, he's That's okay. That's okay. He was, in, he was he, in the military. Okay. Well, he, he's fine financially. He ain't super rich. He ain't rich in that, but he's comfortable. I, he, how he, tall is he? He's five foot five. Uh-uh. No, no, that's, that's, that's what the goddamn I, man, I that's fuck, what Lester. I don't fuck, I don't fuck nobody uh, uh, under How under many Lester's you know in the NBA? Listen, I'm trying it's to say. It's not a tall name. No, 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 no. The Holy Ghost said it's going to be a tall nigga with a long dick. He's going to be 50 and old, 50 above. And his dick might not Why work do y'all that do good. This? Why do y'all do this, ladies? Why? You see what you're doing right now? Millions of ladies do that every day. What he's going to be this. His dick is going to His dick is not going to He's going to be opposite of what you're requesting. That's, that's because not, let me tell you something. That's not what I'm manifesting. That's not what I'm... So you just want a man for dick for the rest of your life? Listen, I'm If gonna, that's the case, then I say that. Is that what it is? You want a man for dick for the remainder of the life you don't want love? I, listen, I'm going to love him, but I would do it through... Vicariously through the dick. I will do it. Yes, okay, I admit. I admit. Yes, what the fuck? I'm not scared of you, D-Lay. You don't, I'm not scared of you, nigga. You don't want love. You want dick for the rest no, of your no, life. Let's I just want, be honest. No, because no, I, I am love. You want some love, no, no, but no, mostly no. dick. I'm already love, my nigga. I'm yes. love. I'll, just bring the dick. And I, and I can love him because he's going to be sick, I know. I'm a, he's going to die before me. I already know. But I'm good with that. No, why are you manifesting a sick nigga? Like, I've never heard <laughs> no, no, listen, that type of manifestation. Listen, you don't understand. I need a nigga in his 50s, almost about to die, <laughs> no, and no, pretty much got his insurance plan. I, I'm definitely the beneficiary. No, 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 no. I, I know men over 50 who are black usually have high blood pressure. Now, why are you looking at me like the Damn, diabetes? Just... No, no, and I'm willing to accept. All dicks why matter to me. You... Wait, 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 wait. All dicks so matter to me. So you take a nigga with diabetes but not 5'5"? Five, five? Oh, no, no. He has to be 5'11". Give me a listen, six foot nigga. He must, be circ- he must be circumcised, too. I can't do you it know what? First of all, shame no, on you. No, no. As a lady born in the 50s, all, none of those dicks I were cut. Sh- I am shaming none uncircumcised. None of those dicks were cut. If you got an uncircumcised penis, throw it back, nigga. Throw it back. <laughs> shame <laughs> on you for skin shaving. Okay, you, you're skin shaming right now. You, that, that, those men in the 60s and Are the 50s. Are you uncircumcised? You must be, because you're defending. Your, no, Are you an advocate? I was once an uncircumcised Philistine. And how old? So. <laughs> Philistine. So. How old were you when you began? I was too old to get my dick worked on. <laughs> Way too old. Was, was it burning when he did it? I don't. I was like eleven. I think I was eleven that's, years old. That's a grown ass man. You had, yeah. you had a big dick. Probably no, my dick still, I mean, it was still. It was still coming along. <laughs> my dick was still coming along. So it hadn't reached its full potential. So I mean, it still hurt. But oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> but shame on you for skin shaming. <laughs> what? All the, those, wait, wait. Nobody born in nineteen fifty beyond that. Got a circ- They don't know nothing about a circumcised. Dilly, have you ever sucked a dick that was uncircumcised? Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm just saying. I have more experience. Who you, who you, who? I have more experience with it than you. So, so I know. I've had more dicks than you ever have. Absolutely. You, you have one. I've had a plethora. So I know. So, what, so wait. I don't know how we got to the second <laughs> dick. No, no, I was telling you my type. Gotcha. And I so, just can't take uncircumcised. So you don't want the circum- uncircumcised dick? No, no, no. It's too much work. Okay, now here's the deal. Work. Now let me tell you where unless the crisis comes in. Unless it grows. Here's the crisis. You want a man that's over 50. No, 40, 48 and mm-mm, above. Mm-mm. But 50. 48 and above. What type of ringtone is... <laughs> that, 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 that's Stevie J. No, hey, not. come get this nigga, man. <laughs> what is going on on the set? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm just saying. <laughs> come get I don't this. Know, I don't know what's happening right now. d listen, all I'm saying is that if you are trying to advocate for me to get a man... Yes, you just I prefer d- him to have... I want 48 and above. And I know it's gonna be minutes. somebody. But I'm telling you, if you fuck with 55 year old niggas, them dicks are them dicks are uncircumcised. That, that, no, 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 them old school no, dudes. I, I've had too many. I know it. And a lot of them have little titties, and I'm okay with that because I like men with titties. So you are <laughs> a certain size. Okay, so what's the what's the weight? Give me the weight. I don't care. I don't okay, four thirty. I don't care. Okay, four thirty. Four hundred and thirty LPS. Oh, listen, 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 listen. I'm not a, a zookeeper. No, I can't do that. No, I'm sorry. Now you just see. You see what I'm saying? I'm not a zookeeper. Hey, I, I want a man. Fuck fuck. I don't care what the size is. No, okay, no. Okay, 430. Listen, a person 430 doesn't like themselves. Let's just say that. Oh, I want somebody who likes himself. He just loves food more. <laughs> <laughs> and he probably eats pussy good because those guys eat a lot of pussy. The I've imagination had... of a woman, because you're fat, you have better eating... Wow. You have to. Wow. You, you because to... you're a fat guy, you, you can eat pussy better than the You have to dine at the white. Wh- 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 because you've... Wow. That is, that's amazing. It is. I feel sorry. So back to you. Can we get back to you? That was a commercial on Gina's penises. Now, I know that being in comedy, 
I've seen you on live sometimes, and some people say stuff like, tell me a joke. Mm. Or, I've seen you get upset about that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you about that. Now, as a, as a civilian, because I'm not a comedian, you are, as somebody who's a comedy watcher, there are some people who don't know the man, and they always want to be, they, they, like, they want to put a quarter in you, start up, you know? Right. Why are you so offended by that when somebody says, tell me a joke? Uh, I wouldn't use the word offended, but uh, taken back that you would walk up to a professional and, like, this is the only profession that you get asked on cue. There's other professions. you never seen somebody walk up to a porn star and was like, hey, Suck hey, Jane, day. hey, Suck hey, I've been watching your shit for the last <laughs> three years. Like, hey, on everything, I fucks with you. I even subscribe to your shit. <laughs> hey, Suck some dick. <laughs> Go ahead. Suck some dick. Is I here? say, yes, sir. <laughs> hey, come on, man. There's dick all over. Don't be acting like you don't suck dick. I see it. I see what you do. So, you know, it's just like, you know, right. people don't respect comedy. You know, like they don't, not not in a sense of what it takes to really do this. They don't understand. They don't understand. And, and it's the lack of respect. You just, you just, you know, think that, hey, I could just say something to this guy and then he could just turn on the comedy that I see him on YouTube or on on networks, it's not like that. It's not like comedy is natural. It's just a natural thing. You know, I want to just go back for a second. When I know a lot of people, when they have a dream that they want it and it didn't come to fruition, the hustle for something else becomes the drive from what they didn't get. Did you have some disappointment or anger from not being able to play ball? Yeah, but I was always hustling. Like, that didn't, like, ignite it. I was always, you know, trying to get ahead and do things. I was always hustling. Okay. I have what, what I call 21 questions. This is part one. 21? No, 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 no. These are like trivia. They're, oh, they're shit. Quick. I'm like, 20? Oh, that's that's two hours. Why don't you calm the fuck down? They're, no, we only got a few minutes. This is part one. They're closed in the questions. One answers. 21, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Are you going to count, uh, King? Simple stuff. What's okay. your favorite color? None. I love them all. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Yeah, because I love them all. Like, I mean, I can rock orange, I can rock blue. I, yeah, I like I love them all. Okay, his answer is none. None is the answer. What's your favorite car? Rolls Royce. The favorite Phantom. Per a person that you would like to see when you pass on transition. Um You got the you got the number? Okay. My mom. Why? I've never seen my mom. What do you mean? She passed when I was uh, nine months. Okay. You have pictures of her and stuff? Yes. You look like her? Mm-hmm. What was her name? Bobby. Bobby? Mm -hmm. Like Bobby. Nice, sexy name, Bobby. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, what place would you like to visit that you haven't been? This is going to sound crazy as hell, especially at this time. It's just because I... I'm a world traveler. I'm a worldwide lay. Okay. Um, You're cosmopolitan. That's the word for him. This is going to sound crazy as hell. No, hit. just be yourself, nigga. Don't be scared. No, no. I ain't scared at all. I'm What's just saying, like, uh, Russia. Oh, you are crazy as fuck. See? <laughs> what I know. the fuck is you this nigga say? I, I want to go during what? the winter, too. What I want to go. Fuck? What's wrong with you? I oh. seen Rocky. In, Listen, no, I, Vir no, Virgos have a need to make a point. That's a Virgo. That's a Virgo shit. Favorite drink? Pineapple juice. Favorite liquor? Uh, I, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna say champagne. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call. It's just one. It's but just it's, one. But it, like I wouldn't because I don't have you. You gonna go? You gonna say oh, champagne too, God. or you gonna go just say liquor? I just asked this nigga what's his favorite drink. I don't have no favorite liquor. Liquor's disgusting. But I drink it. So what's that in front of you, sir? That's liquor. I'm asking you just a plain simple question. What's your favorite drink? That's not, you said favorite liquor. Favorite liquor? Yes. None. Oh, they're all disgusting. <clears throat> okay, let's move on, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. What's your favorite food? None. Mango. Oh, <laughs> you can eat mango every day. I love mangoes. They are juicy and so disgusting on your arms and great. Smoke you a joint and eat a mango and watch how much higher you get. Okay, but now we have a favorite article of clothing on a woman. Mm. G string. Favorite sex position. From the back. Favorite um, song that has sexual connotation to it. Your favorite love song, a romantic song. Call me, Lil Kim, too short. Are you serious? You just asked me a question, and you gonna backdoor with? Are you serious? You okay. thought I was lying the first time I delivered it. You know some of it. Yeah. Let me hear. Call me when you need someone to talk to, someone to fuck you. Call me, yeah. Satisfaction, Satisfaction guarantee. I give you what you need. Yeah. 
That's need a someone nasty to talk ass song to. After you've been Call me satisfaction guarantee. Call me. One year old spin on call no, me. That's no, the old school. No, do you know what that song came yeah. from? Yeah. Call me when you need somebody to talk to. Call me satisfaction. Yes. So, so we, we give props to real R and B. We give props to. Calm the fuck down, you young kid. Uh, what number customer we up to? I can't see. 17. Okay. It, okay. A person who's deceased. That's a black male singer, your favorite. Michael Jackson. Ain't nothing to talk about. Virgo. Okay. Yeah, Virgo. That's right. A uh, female deceased. R&B. Black. Um, singer? You said R&B? Man, I almost killed Anita Baker for a second. Shit. <laughs> oh, please. I oh, please. The shit out of Anita Baker. Um, you dead at her. Oh, you know what? What? I'd like to know. <laughs> it's going to shock your audience. Not really. Not your guess, audience. I'm talking about you. Mahalia Jackson. That's like Russia. Now. That's Are gospel. You but, I mean,. You just like the answer for Russia. Well, well, okay. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna shame the well, answers. How you gonna shame? I'm, I, I'm how not, you gonna I'm answer not. shame? Because I, first I said R and B, and then you went right to gospel. Okay, there's, my bad. There, let me, let me answer. Categories first there. First of all, let me answer the question because you said R and B. You're right. I went to gospel. Oh, um, let's man. move on, nigga. Let's Who's move dead? on. A lot of people are dead. Who? A lot. Of, what, 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 I can't think. Who dead? Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, all them hoes are dead, and they can sing. Why they gotta be? Okay. I didn't, oh, honestly, over everything. Whitney, I'll go Whitney. Go, give me Whitney Houston. Okay, thanks for pointing yeah, at me. Thank Houston, you. Yeah. Okay. White male singer that is transition that you like. Michael Buble. Michael Buble is alive. Michael Buble is alive? <laughs> Michael Buble is not dead. He's yet alive. He's not oh, dead. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. You got to take that out. I like Michael Buble. I thought he was dead. Take what out? Don't. Anybody scared of Michael Buble? That's not... I like... Okay, you about to fuck Who's with my scared relationship Michael with Michael Bublé? I want to meet Michael Bublé. You don't even know him. Exactly. I want to meet him. Okay. Let me read this, see this shit. That Listen, I apologize. I tell, thought he was dead. You, tell him how much you like him. Go ahead. No, I'm not going to tell him how much you <laughs> like him. I'm going to ask him to cut the shit out. It's not a pause moment, nigga. Just tell him as a fan. No, I'm not As all, a fan. We're talking about the dead. Okay, Michael Bublé is still alive, and I apologize for killing you. I'm sorry. Is he your favorite white male, white male singer, Michael Bublé? Yeah, man, I fucks with Michael Bublé. Okay, just say that then. Say I apologize. And I thought he was. I don't know why I thought he was dead. Because you thinking about transition niggas. I okay. just said. Oh, white white singer that's dead. Yes. Whew. R and B. Or just period. It's period. Willie Nelson. Is Willie Nelson alive? <laughs> Is Willie Nelson? Alive? <laughs> Fact check me at home. I don't know. <laughs> Willie's alive. I am killing all these white singers. Hold on. Um, <laughs> damn, why did I think Willie? Are you sure? Yeah, Samson, I'm, I'm, I'm at Samson. Is he alive? <laughs> well, you know, oh, is God damn, so last What week. is happening right now, alive. ladies and gentlemen? Uh, the opinions and expressions of this man do not reflect singer. my ideology or my ethos at all, my nigga. He's <laughs> a white singer. At some point. Alex Trebek. I know you don't think you song, but Alex Trebek sang. <laughs> Yes, Alex Trebek. Yes, Jeopardy guy was a he sang. Yes, so there it is. Next question. <laughs> Alex Trebek. That's my final answer. White female singer that's transitioned. The, I think the only one I know is Tina. Tina Marie. Marie. I know you're gonna say that. I don't know any other right. Uh, Amy Winehouse. She's not R&B. She's pop. Oh, so now you no you into categories now. You said R&B. No, nigga, you went to gospel, to opera. So you're going to check, you know, let's move on. How many questions is that, sir? That's 14. How many? I can't see. I don't have glasses on. Okay. Favorite living R&B female singer? Fantasia. Really? I love it. I love it. Yeah. Go ahead and free yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Favorite male living black singer? Uh, I make a distinction because there's different categories for me. R&B? Yes. Mine is Man, Michelle, mine's gonna, Michelle Pharrell and Stevie Wonder. I'm going to go with Chris Brown. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love him. Yeah, Chris Brown. Is he in your family? Do you think that I'm kidding to Christopher Brown? I, yeah, I think so. You know, I saw your Ancestry.com thing. Yes. You have a lot of Cameroon, mm -hmm. right? He looks like you. Y'all y'all both Cameroon. Y'all both have the same color. That's the second nigga you didn't tell me. <laughs> I'm just like, saying. I'm, I'm just, just saying. Just, like, 
Just so just, you know. No, 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 I, no, no. I mean, I'm starting to look like a, like a lot of motherfuckers. No, like, no, you, no. you look like Ed Foley. <laughs> you look just... Have you been to Detroit? Yeah, he moved to Beverly Hills, but if you get a chance to run into him. That's not what the fuck I'm saying, nigga. <laughs> I'm, you look like a lot of niggas, that's all. Clearly. <laughs> you know what else you look like? Oh, oh shit. I, I'm, I'm trying to crack. Another, listen, listen. You know the ventriloquist with the, uh, with, with the doll, the black like man? I look like the No, no, you look like the doll. You look like the I doll. I look like the doll. <laughs> I don't even look like the nigga that's about to fucking put... No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, listen. It's a, it's, it's a black man with a doll, and he's really good, but he's old. You don't look like the old the man. The doll is old or <laughs> no, the, the nigga the man, is old? No, the man is... The nigga holding the doll. The nigga holding the doll. He doesn't move his lips. What's his That's name? Ventrilo- okay. What's his, no, but he's really good. Let's get back to you, yeah, please. Yes. Let's get back to you. Okay. <laughs> favorite clothing that men wear? Your favorite all glove clothing? Uh, shoes. Favorite band? Band? Uh, fuck. I think I, I just, because I just, Gap Band? I just. Are you asking me? Yeah, you know Gap Band. Very good. I don't that's, know that's, bands that, like that. was such an easy answer. Yeah, yeah, right there. Band, Gap Band. Lord have mercy, God. Right. American. Okay. Band. Excuse state. me? Go Excuse ahead. me? Okay. Favorite TV show? It's Martin. A, oh, okay. Okay. Favorite uh, comedy movie of all time? Lord have mercy. Richard Pryor, which way is up? Really? I cry. I'm saying Harlem Nights. I cry. Harlem Nights. Which way is Why? up when he sits at the table and plays all those kids? I'm crying. I remember when I first saw this movie, you I was performing. Like him too. Richard Pryor. I look like Dave Richard Pryor. I look like Dave Richard Pryor or the motherfucker that you saw in the, same in the red suit. Y'all could be in the same family, really. Y- y'all both that coat, that that color. It's it's almost like uh uh. Uh, I'm gonna look like Fred no, no, Fox no, and no, no, no. and Lamont old, old, at the end old of the people speech. would say piss color. Not that you look like urine. Piss color. But that, that's that used to yellow. Say that. No, that's kind of beige, nigga. You like well, who's pissing beige? You're like taupe. You're like almost like <laughs> taupe. <laughs> a taupe ass nigga. A tan. T A N. A taupe ass nigga. Okay, listen. Back to your question. Yes. Okay, the place you like to visit that you've never been. I said Russia. No, no, no. Listen, listen to the question. That you've never been with somebody that you dislike. The f- well, just listen. There's, there's another question. You have to go this someplace. Is the three part question. Listen to me. God damn. Okay. You got to go someplace with Oprah. Don't give three part question. I'm, I'm, Oprah. I'm not gonna okay, say Okay, gotcha. Oprah. Please don't, because you're fucking fuck? up all the people that I'm supposed to be meeting. Listen, soon. I'm not scared of nobody. You I already oh, fucked uh, up listen. Michael Bublé. So Oprah gets some props, but Oprah. I'm the trap Oprah, nigga. Topra. Oh shit. Take that out. <laughs> Cut that part out. Cut that shit out. I'm the hood Oprah. I'm the hood Oprah. Oprah, because I sell hope. I am the hood Oprah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to the stage. This is Oprah Winfrey. Oh, no, no, no. Skip over <laughs> shit. Question number 16. Let's get to it. And she smokes weed now. Oh, yeah. Ooh, shit. Get this. Are, are, you, are you ready? Are you yes. ready? Okay. When I say a place you have to visit with somebody that you don't like, with an op. Oh, God. That I'd like to visit? Yeah. What an, I, why I gotta go with a nigga I don't like? Because it's oh, is the question too hard. For I you? got you. I'm gonna answer it. The fucking oh question. God. That's what you've been be asking so people. Smart. You're supposed to be a comedian. If this comedians are supposed to be people, so goddamn right, smart. Cool. Uh, Put a spin on it, comedian. Put a spin I on it, like, comedian. Hold on. God. I would. You know what? I'd like to go to Brazil with Vernon, <laughs> my manager from Waterbury. Oh, yeah, I knew it was somebody in, in your gut. Come on, bring it out. Vern, you <laughs> son of a... This motherfucker right here, man. I hated this. Let I it go. I've Come never on. disliked people like that. Vernon, because he was like... He act like he was running Amazon. He's like, motherfucker, this is Whataburger. Calm we down, make baby. breakfast food and burgers. No, this motherfucker <laughs> right here. So I'm like, hey, man, you know, weekends, I'm coming. I'm loyal. I'm, I'm, I'm doing extra work. Hey man, this weekend I come in. It's a busy weekend. It's a Friday, and I don't want to work. And to be totally honest with you, I ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm not sick. I just want to go to the club. I'm right. fucking. I want to go to the club. And I go to Vern and had one guy work. And I say, Hey Vern, I ain't feeling too well. Uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to go home. He act like I didn't even say that. He was like, Hey man, they got a lot of cars in there, man. Listen, let's get it going, man. We got we got a bunch of work to do tonight, man. Listen, let's get going. And, and walked away. Oh. I was like, Okay, let me just. Do my do my job for a little bit, but then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to let him know I'm out of here. So I worked for an hour. It's busy as fuck. We're in Shreveport, Louisiana. It's Whataburger on Uri Drive. It's busy as shit. 
So finally, I said, hey, listen, hey, Vern, I got to get out of here, man. I'm not feeling too well. I hit him with this. With most employees or most supervisors would hear this. They were like, okay, you got to get out of yeah. here. I said, hey, man, I'm about to faint. He said, man, just drink some water, man. Just keep on pushing, man. You're going to be all right. <laughs> just drink some water. I said, this motherfucker preferred water? Okay. Like a slave gotcha. master. Now, I know. Now, I'm working an overnight shift. I'm working an overnight shift. You remember work. this shit in Yes, your heart. man. I'm working like 10 a.m. to like 6. But I'm supposed to get out of there in an hour, hit the club with my boys. Right. So Vern goes every night. He leaves the office, and he goes to take a shit <laughs> every night like clockwork. How do you know he's defecating? I'm, I know he leave. What, whatever he, know? he could be jacking off. Whatever the fuck he doing, How I don't you know care. Defecation's involved. Whatever he's doing, he's in the bathroom and it don't do smell, smell good it? when he come out. Uh -oh. I ain't never <laughs> seen somebody jack off when you do walk you out smell and smell Vernon's like shit. BC? Is that what this is about? Go ahead, finish the conversation. So Vern goes like his normal thing to the bathroom and he leaves the keys on the down. Now keep in mind, let me back up. He has locked me inside the door. The inside is not open. <laughs> Why would he lock you inside the door? Because he don't want me to leave. He wants what? to make sure that I went. He has locked me inside the building. Did he like? Did he like you? Did no, he fuck you? no, fuck no, How man. Burn had motherfucking uh, uh, mustard gas wounds all over his arm <laughs> oh, and you shit. You don't like him. He hurt you. He goes to the bathroom. I take the keys off his desk. Unlock the door. I let myself out. Run across the freeway and throw the motherfucking keys onto the highway. I don't know where it's at. Left there and went to the club. But the point is, wait, wait, Vern wait, called. Wait, wait, let's back up. You left there and went to the club. That's right. I left there. You left the there and went to the club. Left what the, about his keys? I fucked them keys. But let me tell you how. <laughs> this, is, this is how, this is why he really pissed me off. Now I'm on a basketball team, right? <laughs> he calls over to the athletic director and tells him that uh, one of the players, because you like, I redshirted my freshman year. So what, right. while I redshirt, you can have a job. Right. He says, hey, listen. One of the guys right here left and destroyed our property. He made it look like I had did, like I told this motherfucker up. So the coach is like, hey, man, what happened last night? And I told him what happened. This motherfucker locked me in and act like I couldn't really right, right, leave. Right, right, right. So I had to run the stadium. Coach made me run the stadium for like, you know, you should have quit a different way. So uh, long story short, I fuck with Vern over there. I beat this motherfucking ass if Vern went over there with me. I prom I'm sorry. I'm now, sorry. see, the spirit told me that you had man. something in there. The spirit told me that's what I, I I had to dig. I had to explore with you. You know, burglars keep stuff deep seated. Mm -hmm. We up to number seventeen or eighteen. That's twenty one. It's from twenty one questions. You know, if you had to go someplace, right, with one person for thirty days, one person, with nothing there but sand and water, who would you go My with? My wife. Okay, that sounds nice. It sounds beautiful. I believe yeah. you. Where are you going to be soon? Where are you going to be in a minute? Where are we going to see I you? am going to be uh, in Burbank, California at Flappers Comedy Club, September the 21st. I will be there. And then I'll be in Greensboro, North Carolina at the Comedy Zone, September the 23rd and the 24th. And all then, over this place. And then where you And then be? you go to my damn website. Yeah, he's someplace. You, you, you work every week. It's right. delay.com every week that I want to work. But you can work every week if you want yes. to. Yes. But you're based in L.A. and where else? Uh, Atlanta, Atlanta. LA. Yes. I love this man. He heard my cry. He's been kind to me. He's been respectful. He hasn't asked for no pussy. Right? How many people are asking for pussy? Like oh, this? my DMs are so filthy. I need Clorox, my nigga. They ask for pussy. I, what? They ask, I get dick pics. Now, are they? Oh, okay. I was about to say, are they being... Rap? I get dick pics on the regular, son. They usually mean they want, they want some pussy. Yes, they ask me. And you know what? There's a section in Instagram. What do you say? I say no, 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 no. For a woman that has not had dick since tw before the November two thousand nineteen, before the virus. Yes, cause, no, because I'm waiting for some 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 dick is on the way. My womb can tell it's coming. I can tell it's on this way. Only a woman with a vagina can make a statement like that. That's right. I, I've been waiting <laughs> for three waiting. years for, for for the perfect man. No, not the, no, not the perfect man. Just the perfect dick. The man could be fucked up. Here's bring the Let me dick. stop you real quick. He could be horrible. Just Which bring camera the dick. Will come right? Uh, <laughs> Ma'am, there is no perfect dick. I mean, it's going to be oh, something yes, wrong. As with long the dick. as uncircumcised the dick history, and long. You check out the facts. Purporting, the it's too much. It's it's you're not oh you're not God. going to find. There's no perfect dick. What is a perfect dick? You tell me. What's a perfect dick? Uncircumcised, about the size of this microphone, black, brown, beige, on a man that has some kind of income and has a, a existing, pre-existing medical issues. I don't mind that. You, you know why? Because wow. I, you know what I like? 
a pre-existing medical no, conditions. No, I like yeah. just ordinary people. That's a nice little I like comeback. extraordinary people. That was good. Because extraordinary people, listen, a regular man that has a regular job has nice penis all the time. And they don't mind you say, take the remote control, a sit down. A regular man with a regular job. Just eat, fuck them, and leave them alone. You keep really? them in the house forever. Yeah, yes. Good, really. Why are they selling all these dick pills if everybody oh, dick working God. like that? Because the pussy's not If working. everybody dick working like that, why are these dick pills just flying because off? Because the pussy's trash. Shit? The pussy's trash. I like that stance. Right. You're just going to blame Okay, okay. I like it. I blame it on the womb. Just ordinary people. Extra ordinary people. Have a conversation with Gina. Yeah. Have a conversation with Delay. Experience me. <laughs> Going without knowing y'all.